Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Elevated threat with weather for the next few days here. If you have to do anything outside, any travel, any last minute shopping, you're really running out of time when it comes to uh, safe driving conditions. The later we get into the afternoon, the more uh, rocky it's going to be when it comes to uh, even just, you know, walking outside It is going to get very cold very fast. And once it starts to do this, rain showers that we're going to be experiencing early this morning will turn over into snow showers and the snowfall will begin to accumulate over the course of this evening tonight and even once the snow does move out tomorrow we're going to see very very strong winds bring uh, temperatures down bring wind chill levels down to a place that's very dangerous as low as negative 30 and when our wind chills are that low it is not going to be very safe to be out there even for a short amount of time and even though the snow does stop like i said uh, the winds are going to be strong enough it's going to start blowing that snow around it might give the appearance of snow still falling and may reduce visibility if you're trying to drive and the snow's blowing around it may be an unsafe situation and you can see even on saturday christmas eve uh, the snow's gone at this point it's still bitter cold and you know the strong winds are still going to be here creating very low wind chill values so these next three days gonna be rough you can see winter storm warning has been issued for all of our counties here uh, everywhere in the wabash valley is going to see travel impacts because of this whether it's the accumulated snow the very very low temperatures it's going to be uh, you know, less than safe to be out over these next couple of afternoons so if you have to do anything outside again earlier is better today before lunch if you possibly can you can see our storm tracker showing mostly cloudy conditions very light rain uh, if any at all right now and this is going to be the primary impact to begin with a very light drizzle and you may be going through this morning and as we get closer to the afternoon wondering where the where's the winter storm but it's going to really start to pass through here this afternoon and kick into high gear as we move through the evening so just be aware of this, this is why i'm saying get outside early if you can you can see our temperatures at this moment lower 40s upper 30s this is going to be the warmest part of the day all day long, like I said, temperatures are going to drop substantially and you know it's going to happen so fast that whatever light rain we see here off and on throughout the early morning, if it coats the pavement, you know, sidewalks and you know, maybe uh, just a just a light rain just starts to make it damp. Now, any temperature drop that we see that's going to happen very fast is going to freeze that and create maybe slick conditions if you have to do any driving ahead of the snowfall. And as this, uh, you know, sto snowstorm moves in here, you can see this is around one, one to two, two to three. Snowfall moves in. This rain turns over into snow. Again, a wintry mix in this line here, but you can see it's happening in Illinois first. So Illinois earlier in the afternoon, you're going to be dealing with snow everywhere else in the Wabash Valley. You can see this is around 3 p.m. This is probably the absolute latest you want to be on the road over the course of this evening. Again, you can see the darker blue. That's the heavier snow, and this snow will be accumulating as we move through the rest of the afternoon and early evening. And even as the snow begins to move out and taper off, I'm going hour by hour here. This is 8 p.m., 8 to 9, 9 to 10. The snow starts to break apart. Snow flurries may be staying behind, but after the snow moves out, very, very strong winds are going to take over, maybe 40 to 50 mile an hour winds and whatever snow has accumulated will begin blowing around. So even though the snowfall has stopped, the blowing snow will begin to take over where, you know, the, the winds just blowing the snow around and it may cause visibility issues, may cause snow to drift in places and just be careful again tonight, tomorrow, maybe not the best time to do any traveling. You can see over the course of the overnight, we have mostly cloudy skies, but again, the winds are going to be the main impact from here on out. Now, the snow potential here, still thinking the heaviest snow is going to be north of I-70, but that doesn't mean that uh, significant snowfall accumulation isn't possible south of I-70. But again, the winds are going to be blowing this around. So measuring this snow uh, after the snowstorm has Exited will be an issue when it comes to amounts, but I, I'm thinking, you know, two to five, one to three farther to the south. And after the snowfall does leave, wind chill is going to be the primary threat, maybe the more dangerous threat. And this is a future cast showing what wind chills are expected to be early Friday morning. You see negative 30. And when our wind chill is that low, it can be dangerous to be outside, even for a short amount of time. So plan ahead of this now. If you have any power outages, have a backup plan. You can see our temperatures go to the negative five uh, Friday morning, five degrees Friday afternoon, very strong winds. And again, that's the afternoon high. That's it, single digits. So be aware of this. Christmas week in itself, we're sunny, but you're still probably not going to be outside for an extended period of time as our temperatures are going to be in a very low position.